Hello friends. Today in this session we will discuss OD survey. O means origin, D means destination. So this is origin and destination studies or OD survey. Origin destination surveys are used to determine traffic travel patterns in an area of interest for a select time. These studies provide information on where drivers begin and end their trips. It is a review of travel information used to determine future traffic patterns. The purpose of this survey is to collect data about actual trips made in the project's study area. And these studies are very important in transportation planning because they provide data for trip generation. These surveys collect information like where travelers are coming from, that is the origin of the trip, where trips makers are going to, that is destination of the trip, why people are making trip, purpose of the trip, by which mode do different types of people travel, that is mode of travel, at what time of the day do they travel, what is the normal length of the trip. All these information are collected through origin and destination studies. And there are several methods of doing OD survey like roadside interview method, home interview method, telephone survey method, postcard survey method, license plate survey method, tag survey method. In addition to these methods, there can be other methods also which make use of technology to get the data quickly and economically like MAC address detection or use of mobile and Bluetooth information. The first method is roadside interview method. In this method, interview stations are previously decided on the roadway and these locations are where cordon lines cross the study area. The vehicles are stopped at the interview location by a group of persons and answers to their questions are collected on the spot. And the information which are collected during this interview are like place and time of origin, place and time of destination, routes to be followed, purpose of the trip, type of vehicle, number of passengers in the vehicle, type of commodity being used in case of commercial vehicles and so on. Advantages of this method are the interview can be carried out on the sample basis, data is collected quickly in short duration and high response rate well suited where manpower available is less. But there are certain disadvantages also with this method. This method is very disruptive to traffic because you have to stop the vehicle to ask the questions. It can cause safety hazards. It requires high staff labor and the interviews must be very short. Otherwise, the time required to stop will be very long. The second method is home interview method and this is one of the most reliable type of surveys for collection of origin and destination data. In this method, residences are visited by a trained person who collect the travel data from each member of the house. Data include number of trips made, their origin and destination, purpose of the trip, travel mode age of the household members, vehicle ownership, family income, etc. Now, since it is not possible to include all the residences of the area, it is generally done on sample basis. And Bureau of Public Roads has suggested the sample size, minimum sample size, depending upon the population of a study area. If the population of a study area is less than 50,000, then 20% 20 sample size is sufficient. If it is 50,000 to 150,000, one in eight households should be surveyed. And if it is more than 1 million, then it can be one in 25. And these are the guidelines suggested by BPR, that is Bureau of Public Roads. But it can be changed depending upon the condition, depending upon the resources available with the planner. This method also has certain advantages and disadvantages. Advantages are the problem of stopping of vehicles and consequent difficulties are avoided because here you do not survey the driver, rather you survey the household members. 
the present travel needs are clearly known and the analysis is very simple and additional data including socio economic and other details may be collected so as to be useful for forecasting traffic and transportation growth the disadvantages only one disadvantage is listed that method is very expensive because you have to visit each and every household it is time consuming and large manpower is required an alternative to home interview survey is telephone or internet survey that is also called cati or computer assisted telephonic interview this is a traditional research method now where interviewers ask some questions to the respondent over the phone call it is a better alternative to the home interview or other pen and paper data collection process and softwares are now available which can help the interviewer manage the call record with no data loss now this system also has some advantages and disadvantages the advantage is that it is a cost effective method as compared to face to face survey cati surveys are cost effective as everything can be done remotely higher response rate not everyone can reach out to meet you and therefore compared to face to face survey cati surveys deliver a much higher response rate than the home interview survey third is demographic as everything is online you don't need to be physically present with the respondents and during emergencies or conflict area cat serves as the better option immediate response unlike emails or postcard survey you can gather immediate responses from the respondent and it eliminates manual errors when you use good software it automatically captures all the respondents feedback eliminating all the processing errors and manual mistakes but there are certain disadvantages also the first is interviewer training interviewer may not understand the purpose of data collection also questions may be interpreted wrongly if not asked properly that is why for every research you need to train the field agents or field engineers or interviewers on how to ask these questions second is the less honest answers respondents are much more polite over the call as compared to online surveys that is why they give much higher rating than they actually want to third is no one has the time for long questionnaire sometimes your answer surveys are more than 15 questions long in such cases the respondent will avoid answering your questions and the last one low response rate you have to understand that telephone surveys interrupt you while you work and especially if they take too much time you simply don't respond that is why they have low response rates the next one is postcard survey it is also called road side handout or mail back survey Now this type of survey involves manually handing out survey cards to drivers while on the roadway the motorist can fill these cards and mail them back free of charge the cards may be handed out at its intersections ramps toll booth or other areas where cars are naturally stopping or stopping traffic causes less disruption this method also has certain advantages and disadvantages advantage is that it requires less money and data can be collected in a lesser time the disadvantage is that it has very low response rate many drivers especially drivers of commercial vehicles may not be educated and they may not respond and it is hard to accomplish on busy roads because again you have to stop the vehicle to hand over this postcard next is license plate method now here in this method the area is divided by a code on line and at each point here at each point of entry and exit a group of observers will be positioned will be stationed and they will note down the registration plate number of the vehicles entering and exiting the point 
and later on by matching the registration number of the vehicles at the point of entry and exit, one is able to identify two points on the path of the vehicle. This method has advantage of being simple in field organization and no interference with the moving traffic, good likelihood of having unbiased sample. And the disadvantages are that it is extremely difficult in analyzing the data and large number of observers is required to collect the data at each entry and exit point. Next is tag method. Now here also study area is bounded by cordon lines and each point at each point where the roads cross the cordon line vehicles are stopped and a tag is affixed usually under a windscreen wiper. So here we do not note down the plate number rather we stop the vehicle and put a tag on the windscreen of the vehicle. The tags for different survey stations have different shapes and colors to identify the survey station. These vehicles are again stopped at the exit point and these tags are removed. And when you are fixing the tag or removing the tag, the time is can also be noted down to determine the actual journey time. Now this is also similar to license plate survey method because here again you have to match the entry point and exit point details. It is also quite cumbersome and at the same time it requires stopping of the vehicle at entry and exit point. The next is MAC address detection. MAC basically means media access control address. Now this MAC address detection uses Wi-Fi and Bluetooth sensors to track and match vehicles based on their unique MAC address emitted from smart devices to determine the individual trip patterns. Now this method has several advantages. It is easy to install and remove. It can provide complete route information with high accuracy even on high volume roads and no, man no manual labor is required. The disadvantage is that it needs to install sensors around the points of interest, lower sample size than automatic license plate reader and it can only collect data in cars having smart devices. OD data can be represented in two methods, either in the form of matrix or in the form of desired line diagram. Now this is a matrix of OD data where you have A to J, your zones which are established before start of the data collection and these number indicates how the trips are starting from a and culminating into B. So these are I, I is the origin and J is destination. So from B to A, from B to C, 23 trips. This is one way of representing the OD data. Another one is to draw the desired line diagram. And this is the desired line diagram. Here circle represents the origin and these squares shows the destination. And these are joined by lines of different thicknesses based on the number of vehicles. And you can draw a legend here indicating what the thickness of each line represents. So for example, this line represents 500 car per units or maybe next one 3000 and these small one, the thin one, thinner lines here represents 500 trips of the car. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do write your feedback.